Hey y'all, this is Dale with This is how you do it. I'm finna fix really a plate and I just thought I'd turn the video on and chat with y'all a little bit. He said he wanted some of the stuffing with um uh, look at this bag off the floor. Um with some turkey. So here's the plate. Only only stuff we got left is in here, y'all. We have knocked it down. This is just the what? Um the 27. Um that's it. We might as well get a knife out. Where's the knife? Okay. Put this over here. We don't need the fork right now. Oh, I'm talking. I'm talking under my breath. Let's see. That's how we've been wedging it, honey. Just been wedging it like that. And making this. So what's that, Val? That's the only macaroni cheese that's left, child. Yeah, we've been doing that deal. Okay, y'all. Yes, we have. Let's see. said all he wanted was some stuffing and some turkey so this is the bird y'all this is the bird you want turkey I got I still have breast left from the chicken I hear you. He like breasts, so he and both of them. Just the TV and they're just as loud as we is. I'm gonna make a soup out of this. Still got a leg left, still got wings. I'm gonna take cut that back. Let me uh go and get him some things to put in there. I'll show y'all what we do with that. Green beans. Y'all know how we do. It look all right, though. And when it get warm, then put a piece of bread on it. Need to get a spoon. You gonna eat it now? 
refrigerator. With this towel. to do is look at this back. Like I say, I'm going to use this to cook some. I think there's a good piece of meat right there. I'm trying to cut that off for me in the back. I'm going to save it. More Wayne for Willie. We have to just put my hand in and pull it apart. Struggling with it, so. That I'm trying to make a soup out of. Mm -hmm. Let's see how much meat on that bone. So when I make my soup. It'd be enough. Yep. I 
I guess you see we ain't too much into these, huh? That could be soup bones, too. A little more white meat. Let me put over that over there for well. Nah. Okay, you guys. I'm going to get this soup started. Cut up an onion. Put this on the stove here. Y'all, it is what it is. I can do it, y'all. Anybody can do it. I'm gonna take this and get this out of the way. Look at all this, this breast and bone in here. You know that ain't nothing nobody gonna really try to eat. But if I put this in here and cook this twice, it's smoked turkey. Like if you would have bought some smoked uh, turkey mix, smoked turkey mix, or smoked. Um, turkey thighs or smoked turkey wings and then you made something with it. That's all I'm doing. And like, uh, like I said, that was a lot to purchase just for two people.
all the celery that I had for the holidays, for both holidays, instead of letting it go bad, I cut it up, put it in here, and I'm going to go and grab some out. But you can't go bad with celery and onions. Got some bell peppers that I need to cut up too. Just taking a couple of hands full and putting it in there. back up and put this celery back up. half of this when I cook my turkey and dressing. I'm not wearing my dress, my cornbread dressing. That's all I use half. But I bought four. So I'm going to cut some up and put them in the freezer too. Need to go and cut them up now to you too. Do this and let them that turkey cook all the pieces and then throw some noodles in it too. Like like the noodles that um that I cook the macaroni and cheese with, like macaroni noodles. And then you have um a soup with the meat in it and these beautiful bit vegetables that make this season it to make it taste good. And then you have some Instead of chicken and noodle soup, you'll be having turkey and noodle soup. This is what I'm doing with my leftover turkey. So with that, that ain't really left over turkey. That's just you stop eating the turkey and starting to make something else out of it. That's true too. And that way the turkey will cook down and be softer to eat also. If you um, want something that fall off the bone and real juicy, cook it again. Mm -hmm. This knife is in y'all way. I'm going to lay it right here so you can see what I'm doing. Now, I haven't turned the stove on yet. and I, I need to put some water in here also. But right now, I'm going to put some seasoning in it. I'm going to reach up here and get this. Cause you think about it, when that water get in here and then noodles get in there, it's gonna soak up some of this seasoning, y'all. So don't get excited about the seasoning and the salt content and all of that, all of that extra. Cause you need to salt your noodles too. So, and the noodles are just going in straight. I'm not cooking the noodles first. They going in this pot right here with all this this salt your noodles before you uh, while they raw to give them flavor. Black pepper, this black pepper, y'all. Put that in there. Yep. Kind of strain you up a little bit. Now we're going to throw in. We don't need this uh, pink salt. We're not going to use that. But this is some tamarind. I just put it in this container. And then let's throw some of that in there. And make some soup. It's in the microwave. You can see it right there. It's not on you. Okay. 
to cook. I could I used to cut the meat up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I think the soap soup gonna be good. You know how you like noodles in your soup. Yeah, but you, you didn't listen to me. What? I told you all that one chicken and, and I mean uh well, just, turkey, I you know, know just right. turkey and, and, and dressing. That's what you said. But I'm, I, I don't know if that would have been enough. Yeah, it would have been enough. Mm-hmm. But just eat that then. You know, you're going off and you're going to be gone for a minute. Oh, this is uh, parsley. I put paprika and garlic uh, powder in it. And I'm going to get some of this all-purpose seasoning right here. Put in here. You know, you got to have some good seasoning. And especially when we're going to finish put all this water in here, y'all. I'm gonna need some more water besides this right here. Could just move the pot over there to the sink and get the water. So we can do it this way for camera sake. That was sneezing from the black pepper, y'all. and now I'm going to cut the camera off now if I can't splice all this together and let y'all see what this good soup look like then I have to make a second video for y'all to see it and just take a picture of it and let you click on it and then link that other video up under this video so because I haven't put the noodles in it yet. This got to boil down. And all, I got to get all those bones out of there. Just take them out. And just have meat in here. So I'm going to stop it now. And it's going to cook for about. Maybe two hours. Because it's cooking slow. And I want that juice to be really seasoned. Maybe one hour. One to two hours. I'll let you know. Okay all my beautiful people. I have taken all the bones out. Of my pot. And I'm going to let you look at it. This is what it looks like. Now the skin is still in there. But this is the meat. See that? With all that beautiful seasoning and broth in there. Now with this, you can put some sweet peas in here. A can of sweet, a can of sweet peas, a can of carrots. And a fruit noodles, and then you got yourself a soup. Now, I don't have any sweet peas, and I don't have any carrots. So, I'm just going to throw some soup in here and just have turkey and noodle soup. I don't want to put too many in there because it'll just be noodles with turkey meat and it'll take up all the juice. I still want to keep some juice in there. And I'm going to let that cook down. And next time you see this, it will be my soup in that bowl that you see with the bones in there. Some of the broth has been um, taken up by the noodles. But I want to show you what the noodles are looking like in there. And it's making it, making it into a thick soup. So what I'm going to do is take some of the green beans. Because I didn't put any uh, greenery in my soup. That's about a can of beans, I would say. And I'm going to pour some of this juice in here also. To kind of make up with the, some more liquid.
See that? So whatever kind of beans that you have, cans that you have in the cabinet, or potatoes that you can cut up in here, it will work just fine. Because all we're doing is making a soup, and a soup is nothing but the vegetables and the meat that you have for leftovers. And it's 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 turning out to be wonderful. It really is. Okay, beautiful people, it's a done deal. I'm going to take out some of this noodles and put it in here like this. It's a couple of beans. Over here. Then take the ladle. Make sure I get some of that broth. And that's turkey soup after your Christmas or your Thanksgiving dinner. Or if you just want to go buy some turkey parts and make your own soup. And this is Val with This Is How You Do It. And I'll talk to all you beautiful people on the next video. Bye-bye now.